Thanks, George. Um, so today I have the pleasure of presenting on behalf of LensGen uh, the Juvene IOL, which is uh, the complete IOL. Um, I'm on their medical advisory board, so that's my financial disclosure. Um, so we know this data here. This is a huge opportunity uh, for us, who do, people who do cataract surgery, people who invest in cataract surgery, uh, people who make companies that help us with cataract surgery. There's a lot um, of opportunity here, and there's a lot that we have that's great, but there's a lot that's left uh, to be wanted. Currently, you know, there's um, products that allow us to have EDOF, trifocal, torque correction, but none of those really um, give us the full uh, desired want from our patients. They want to be able to uh, see distance, intermediate, near, have no halo and glare. Uh, they want a um, you know, partridge in a pear tree, if you will. They want everything. And as surgeons, we'd like to give them that. So LensGen is, is uniquely positioned to, um, to disrupt this market. So what is a complete IOL? Well, a complete IOL gives patients presbyopia correction, um, contrast sensitivity, optical quality, uh, emetropic um, predictability, <clears throat> astigmat astigmatism correction, and enhanced safety and, and enhanced ability uh, and upgrade abilities. These are sort of the four pillars that this lens uh, allows for. So if you look at the premium IOL market, this is sort of a, a competitive matrix. It shows us what the different types of IOLs provide currently, and more importantly, what they don't provide. All the white boxes are opportunities for uh, improvements on current technologies. So this is a, a, a schematic of the Juvene IOL. It's a modular IOL uh, with a um, base lens, and there's actually an optic in that base lens, and then you have a fluid lens that has a curvature changing aspect to it. And so that gets implanted into the uh, base lens very easily. I've done it myself. There's three little tabs that hold the, um, the fluid lens in place, and then this is able to change shape to allow uh, a dynamic range of vision. So here's another schematic showing uh, what this would look like in real life. We can start the video, here we go. Um, capsulotomy is done. The base lens goes into the capsular bag, fills the bag, much like uh, the technology that uh, Dr. Trattler talked about. It fills the bag, and that has um, benefits because you don't lose any um, capsular volume. And then you have your two lenses, one uh, base lens and then the fluid-filled lens, which actually changes shape to give you this uh, near vision. So it's sort of biomimetic, if you will. Clinically, uh, this company has um, undertaken what we call the GRAIL study. Not quite yet the holy grail, but the grail study. Uh, two international sites in Mexico, 44 eyes. First implants were in January of 2019. The protocol will be similar to the IDE study. Multiple surgeons, I, I had the opportunity of participating in a couple of these eyes. Uh, it's a um, study device, but uh, final design. Uh, we have control eyes and bilateral implants, and the plan is to follow these patients out to 12 months. So when you look at this defocus curve, what you can see here is that the, the Juvene lens has a, um, a better profile when it comes to distance, intermediate, and near compared to the most popular uh, EDOF lens we have in the United States, and, and much, much better than a monofocal lens at all distances. This is 20 eyes at one month. As you would expect, bilaterally you get better vision, so you get bilateral summation. Now granted, this is only three eyes, but you can see here a very favorable uh, defocus curve with uh, patients achieving excellent near and intermediate vision uh, when this lens is implanted bilaterally, again at one month. Uh, whenever we implant an IOL, we want predictability, and I think this has been echoed with our uh, previous um, speakers here. Uh, you can see here on the um, graph on the left, uh, very, very good uh, refractive uh, targeting, uh, so very close to targeted uh, refractive outcome. And on the right, uh, this, these were pilot eyes done previously, but you can see over a one-year period, the, uh, the lens stays where it's supposed to be. So the effective lens position doesn't change from where you put it. So you don't expect long-term refractive shifts with this lens. Uh, patients really, really liked the quality of vision they got from this. So on a directed questionnaire, had none of the uh, major side effects that we see with some of our current presbyopia correcting lenses. And out to 33 months, no PCO. So uh, because it fills the bag, we're not seeing PCO in these patients uh, out to 33 months, which is uh, you know, enhanced safety for these patients. 
So this biomimetic lens fills the capsular bag, gives you stable ELP, stable refractions, uh, with a toric lens, minimal rotation, negligible if any PCO, and the other thing that you know, uh, uh, Dr. Trotler talked about was you know perhaps no stress on the on the um, retina and on the vitreous, and that has benefits as well for our patients. So if you look at this competitive matrix, the Juvene IOL actually fills all the boxes, which is very exciting. Going towards the future, this this platform is also adaptive and upgradable, very similar to. Um, Dr. Wartz's um, Omega lens. So this lens gen platform has this base platform in which you could put a monofocal lens, you could put a fluid-filled lens uh, to give you um, presbyopia correction as well as uh, toric correction. You could put in drugs. And you could also put in uh, other devices, sensing devices um, for the future, which allows this to be a very upgradable and um, dynamic platform going forward. And this is the, uh, the LensGen platform. Thank you very much. Sam, thanks so much.